Hey YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you an easy proof for the Pythagorean Theorem um, and that states that if you have a right triangle with the sides A, B, and C where C is the hypotenuse, the side opposite of the right angle um, then the sides are related by A squared plus B squared equals C squared uh, so let's get right into the proof so it starts by drawing a square and you're going to take each side of the square and divide it into two separate segments A and B just like this and it's important that um, they go in order as you go around the square a b a b a b so that way you preserve uh, the rotational symmetry of the shape and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that division at each point and you're gonna draw a straight line that connects each of those uh, dividing points just like this and we're gonna label each of these sides C and this middle shape here is actually a square and we can prove it's a square because we've maintained rotational symmetry which means that each of these sides must be the same length and also each of these inner angles here must be the same uh, angle as well and if we solve for that real quick in the sense that we have four equal angles and they must add up to 360 then the angle must be 90 degrees so these four angles are uh, right angles and therefore this inner shape here is a square and that's important for the next step because we're going to be writing an equality for the area of the whole shape uh, compared to the area of the sum of the parts. So as you can see here, the area of the whole shape, this large outer square, must be equal to the area of the inner parts, which is going to be these four triangles plus this smaller square inside. And of course that's represented algebraically here. The length of this side is a plus b. So a plus b squared is the area of this whole square. And the area of the triangle multiplied by 4 is going to be the combined area of these four triangles plus the area of this smaller square inside. Um, and these two parts are going to be equal. So now working these out, the area of one of these triangles is going to be 1 half base times height. And the base is just a or b. And that's multiplied by 1 half. And the area of this square in here is just going to be the length of the side squared. In this case, that's c squared. When you actually start to simplify this out, uh, on the left-hand side, you get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared when you multiply this out. And on the right-hand side, this 4 multiplied by this 1 half is just going to give you 2ab plus c squared. And now you'll notice that uh, both sides have a 2ab, so you can subtract that out. And as you might guess, you're just left with a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which is the Pythagorean theorem. Um, and you can see that from any of these four triangles here, where a and b are the lengths of the legs, and c is the length of the hypotenuse. And because the place where we split the side of the square was completely arbitrary, we could have split it further to the left, we could have split it further to the right, or closer to the center, and we would have gotten this exact same result. We know that this relationship is true for any triangle, uh, any right triangle, sorry. Um, but the coolest part about this proof is that it's not only algebraic, um, you can also represent the same effect uh, in a geometric way. And I'll show you that right now. So if you just imagine looking at this figure here and taking this bottom right triangle and shifting it to this position and taking this bottom left triangle and shifting it to this position, you would end up with a shape that looks like this if you just imagine that those triangles are moved. And keep in mind that the area of the shape in total is exactly the same. We still have these four triangles. So that would mean that the leftover area, this part here, um, must be the same area as this inner part because we haven't changed anything. And as you would probably guess, that leftover shape is exactly a squared plus b squared. This little area here is an a by a square this area here is a b by b square and since these triangles were simply shifted around you know that this square plus this square must be equal to this square on this side uh, which is simply c squared so that is the geometric view on the proof um, so that's it that's both angles the algebraic side and the geometric side um, hopefully you guys learned something and if you have any questions feel free to leave something in the comment section thank you